Well, hi there, students. Don't mind me, just putting my makeup on. <clears throat> yeah, that's better. Now, just some quick bit of clothes. And, ah, much better. Today, we're going to be making our own puppets. Uh, oh, well, there's one of my friends now. Hey guys, my name's Narfi. Yeah, and my name's Robbie. Well, we're gonna do a bit of a Bible devotion for you today. <clears throat> Ready? Yep. Action. Oh, hey Narfi, how are you going? Oh, lousy. This is the worst day of my life. <sighs> oh, sorry to hear that, Narfi. What went wrong today? Oh, just about everything. I tell you, everything. Well, how about you just start when you got up in the morning? What went wrong then? Well, I was having leaf and grass waffles with extra blueberries, which is my favourite. But, yeah? Well, I had the heat up too high and my phone started ringing and my sister Gertrude, well, she loves to talk and talk and talk. Well, I got distracted and my waffles started burning. Pretty soon they were on fire. The smoke alarm went off and the fire department came and they squirted the hose on my waffles. It ruined them. Completely ruined them, I tell you. Oh, it was awful. So awful. You wouldn't believe it, Robbie. Whew, that's a pretty bad morning. What happened after that, Narfi? Oh, well, I went to the library, and as I was looking for a book to take my mind off the waffles, I stubbed my toe on a bookshelf. That made me trip and knock over a man who was looking at the newspaper, and he fell on a little old lady who was reading a scary book about monsters. She thought the man was a monster attacking her, so she called for help. My toe was still hurting. So I screamed, and you know what the librarian said to me? What did the librarian say? She said, Young man, this is a library. Please be quiet or leave. Oh, well, she couldn't see that you were hurt. I tried to tell her, but my toe was sore, and she kicked me out of the library for being noisy. Ah, oh, poor Narfi. Did anything else happen to you? Yeah. I was at the grocery store when I tried to pick out a can of beans and then crash. All the cans fell off the shelf. The store manager came over and was mad because they thought I did it on purpose. He made me stack all 550 cans all by myself. Can you believe it? After that happened, I came here. Nafi, I'm really sorry to hear about your bad day you've had. <sighs> I bet the kids have had bad days too. Oh, how about you watching? Have you had bad days recently? Hmm. Well, I guess you're right, Robbie. Everyone has had bad days here and there. What about you? Do you ever have bad days? Robbie. I should... Hold on one second. I'll fix up my camera. I'm <laughs> fixed. Phew. Yeah, you can tell I'm having not a very good day today, but you know what? Sometimes when I'm having a bad day, I remember about the fruit of the Spirit that the Bible talks about in Galatians chapter 5, verses 22. It says that one of the fruits of God's Holy Spirit is joy. Well, I don't feel very joyful right now. In fact, there's actually... A lot of verses in the Bible that sometimes can cheer you up, mate. What I learnt, I've written down to share with someone, such as you. You should have a look at it yourself, Nuffy. I could use with some joy on a dark day like this. Well, <clears throat> the joy comes from the Holy Spirit. From the First Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. Cool, it sure doesn't come from mean librarians. What else, Robbie? What else does the Bible say? Well, in John chapter 16, verse 22, 
I learned that no one can take away our joy. If our joy is in the Lord, uh, oh, and in and, and, and Psalm 28, oh, and in Philippians chapter 4, oh, oh, oh and don't forget about 1 Peter chapter 11, uh, 1, I learned that only one thing should bring us joy. Can you guess what it is, Navi? Well, I know it's not burnt leaf and grass waffles. Is it chocolate? No, Nafi. The Bible says over and over again that our joy should be in the Lord. Oh, in the Lord. So if we find joy and happiness in serving God and learning about Him, we will stay happy because our joy can't be taken away. Right you are, Nafi. If our joy is in the Lord, we will still have bad days, but God is big enough to always be there to help us when get through it. We can pray to Jesus for his help when times are tough, and you're, you'll have joy because you know that he loves you. Wow, thanks Robbie. I feel better already. I want my joy to be in the Lord too. That's a spirit, Nafi. No, that's the fruits of the spirit. Boom ta. <laughs> so, if you want to make a puppet show like this, all you need to do is have a texture, draw on your hands, hold your hand like in a fist, and when you move your thumb up and down, it looks like the mouth's moving. You can make some props and hair like I have here. This is a little mustache on my mustache on my head, and I've just got a piece of paper on my head. You don't need to have a prop though. What you can do is either write your own script and record it, or you can find one on the internet and record one yourself. So make your own puppet devotion today, and I would love to see it. All the best!